On a cold Christmas Eve night, a poor girl walked the snow-covered streets barefoot. She had no hat, and her feet were freezing as she tried to sell some matches from her old apron. As the night fell, no one bought any matches from her, and no one gave her a single coin. The girl shivered from the cold and hunger, and the image of desperation was apparent on her face. Her long blonde hair was covered in snow, but she paid no mind to it. On that bitterly cold Christmas Eve, all she dreamt of was warmth. She struck a match. Rished. The flame flickered to life, warm like a candle, illuminating the girl's face. In that warm glow, she imagined herself sitting by a large iron stove, radiating with heat. The fire inside the stove was comforting, but the small match flame flickered out, and all that remained was the cold wall. She lit another match. The light revealed a grand feast with a fragrant roast goose on the table. What was even more magical was that the goose stepped off the dish and approached the girl. But then, the match went out, leaving behind the cold wall. The girl lit a third match. Before her was a magnificent Christmas tree, larger and more decorated than any she had ever seen. As the match extinguished, the tree lights ascended, becoming stars in the sky. Someone must have passed away, she whispered, recalling her dear grandmother's words that every time a shooting star appeared, a soul ascended to heaven. She lit the entire bundle of matches, wishing to keep her grandmother close. The bright flames revealed her grandmother, radiant and beautiful, embracing her. They both soared high above, beyond the cold, hunger, and worries, into the presence of the divine. But on the street corner, in the cold dawn, the girl lay there, rosy-cheeked, a smile on her lips, leaning against the wall. She had frozen to death on the last night of the old year, surrounded by burned-out matches. People said she wanted to feel warm, but no one knew the wonderful things she had experienced, and no one imagined that she had entered a world of splendor and happiness with her grandmother in the new year. Thank you.